Hi, this is Jim McDonough. I am going to create a quick video here on how to create a static link to a static CMS page in Magento Go. Uh, what I'm going to do is put a blog link uh, to a blog page right here between Buy Swing Advantage and Contact Us. Uh, this is kind of a workaround because there's no easy way to just add a, a navigation item uh, and, and give it any link you want. So here we go. I'm going to go log in to the Magento Go dashboard. I'm going to first identify the page that I've previously created and CMS pages manage content. Uh, and here is the blog page. I'm going to take a quick look at the blog page so we know what we're looking for. Uh, the blog page is here. <laughs> I have a typo there, but that's okay. Okay, so the first step in creating that link on the front end of the site is to go to Catalog, Manage Categories, and create a new subcategory. I'm going to click on Root and add subcategory. And the first thing we're going to do is add the name of the link, which will show up exactly as you type it here. So I want blog. Uh, all these fields can be filled in later. I'll just go ahead and add a page title. And, and then what's really important here is to make sure we select is active, yes. And add a URL key of blog. And then click save category. The only thing else I want to do here is make sure, for positioning's sake, that blog comes before contact us. Once that's done, we basically have, refresh the front end here, a link to an area with no products uh, in Magento. What we want to do is change that to a link to that static CMS page. So we'll go back to the dashboard and create some redirects or URL rewrite management. And that's in catalog URL rewrite management. You'll see that uh, Magento creates a URL rewrite uh, when you create the category. And what we're going to want to do is copy the target path. So I'm going to copy that line. Oops, sometimes it, it clicks in. Um, so I'm going to copy that. And since we've clicked into that field already, we definitely want to click Permanent Redirect. So I'll click Save here. In case you missed that, what I basically did is I meant to just copy this. Sometimes it'll click Control C that. But, you, but you're going to need to make sure that redirect is permanent. Okay, so uh, the reason we copy that is we're going to use it in a new custom redirect. So we click Add. And then in the Select box where it says Create URL Rewrite, we select Custom. And in the ID path, we're going to use Blog. The Request path is what we copied system generated category path. Uh, I'll make sure I clear that white space. And the target path is uh, going to be the same as the URL redirect from earlier, which again is also just blog. And then finally, we're going to select redirect to permanent. Save that up. Uh, one of the things I've been told to do just to make sure is go to site indexing before we check the front end. Refresh the index. That should only take a few seconds. And then I'll go home, refresh, and click on the blog link and our blog page as we previewed per before with the typo and everything shows up in that link. And that's pretty much it.
Um, I didn't go through that kind of fast, so if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Uh, again, my website is jmcdonough.com, and uh, yeah, thanks a lot.